Hey there, let me show you my step-by-step -step process I use in mixing Afrobeat songs from start to finish. There'll be no gatekeeping, so if you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we set our tempo. So you double-click this, text tempo. That's make sure you're using the beat, 75 to 150, and it's 114. Okay, that's why it's already set there. Okay, and make sure you have your beat link to the mixer. Then your vocals, we're also going to link that as well. So we just temporarily touch this. Perfect. So we have this links to the mixer, okay? The beats and the vocal. Next, what we're going to do is tune the vocal. So we're going to load up Auto-Tune or any tuning program you have. So I'm going to come to Auto-Tune Pro and the key for this song is actually D flat major. Let's hear it. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. no my dog is a probation. Another five years. Now, now that that's set, what we're going to do next is change the voice type to low male. For most male artists, it's going to be low male. They want to adjust the return speed. This is how much correction, okay? Because when artists sing, some notes may go flat. So you simply increase this to enhance the correction, okay? I typically have mine between 5 to 10, okay, for more obvious correction, right? Especially when a lot of the notes are off. And if you want to retain some of that natural vibes back, you can just simply increase the flex tune. Okay, now the higher you take this, the more natural the vocal will sound. So I'm going to have it here because I want to have a little bit of that auto tune vibe going on because it gives that modern pop film in the mix. Then the next thing is the humanize. This helps preserve the vocals when the artist has like sustained notes, like when the artist sustains their vocal, it helps preserve that. So I usually take this to about 100. And then we're just listening. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. Then make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. You can hear some notes being flat and some notes, you know, being well corrected. And that's just simply how you can easily use auto tune. So after fixing that, the next thing we're going to do is take away noise from the vocal, okay? So for that, I'm going to use Isotope RX Voice the Noise. Now, there are so many alternatives you can use, but I like using Isotope more because I already have it. And it just works automatically. You don't really have to download anything. Just make sure that adaptive mode is on. So when I press, when I solo it. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. I want to turn it off. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there and make a check on you can hear more of that AC air conditioned noise in the background and some more ambience right now. It's never take it out 100%, but it's going to do a great job that you will notice it while you're mixing. Now, in this vocal, there are some sharp S's that we need to take care of. Let's listen. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there and make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. So the essence of mixing is, is for you to hear these problems and take care of them, okay? So we're going to come to, again, RX series because I like using the RX series and I'm going to use DS, okay? Now you have to be careful how you use DS because using it too much can take away the life from the song. Simply come to threshold and reduce it a little bit. If you, send me the you can hear that now. That's way too much. I'm going to relax it. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. And if you listen closely, there are some deep breaths in the vocal. For me to fix it, I'll be using the RX breath control. Now, this is it without me engaging it much. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time. So you can hear the breath. Now, for us to fix it, all you have to do is adjust this, okay? Now, the lower you take it, the more breaths you're going to take out, okay? So let's assume you want to take out almost all the breath in there. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there and make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. And my dog is a probation. Another five years. Bring girls. So you can hear that. Clean the vocal real good. So let's hear the vocal with and without the cleanups. So let's solo it. This is when the vocal is turned off. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there and make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. When it's on. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. And make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. So you can hear that it sounds a lot cleaner and more professional. And this will make our mix a whole lot easier, okay? Now, if you hear this vocal, you can hear some parts are inconsistent. Some parts are really loud while some parts are quiet. Your body fire gone. 
Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw Your body not your man, I know you're gone Say you fire go Oh rent your why not draw? So you can hear there's inconsistency in there. So for us to fix it, we're going to use a compressor. And I'm going to use the easiest compressor ever, which is the Fab Filter Pro C2, okay? This is one of the easiest compressor. Again, it works like, all, like most of the other compressors you have. It has the threshold, the ratio, and that's really what we're going to be focused on today, okay? So the threshold is just simply what level does vocal need to cross for it to start acting where it normalizes the vocal instead of it sounding too loud or too quiet it makes it sound more normal okay and then the ratio is just simply overall how much compression do you want the vocal okay for most vocals it's typically four to five ratio one okay and then for the threshold now this depends on how loud or how quiet the vocal is coming in. so this will totally depend on your vocal so let's hear and you see the vocals moving in here and that's why i really like this plugin it's very visual your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw Your body not turn my lawyer gone If not, it sounds really loud, so we'll turn off auto gain Your body fire gone Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw Your body not turn my lawyer gone Say you fire gone And when I turn it off Your body fire gone Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw Your body not turn my lawyer gone you fire go. I want to turn it on again. Your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw. Your body not turn my lawyer go. So you can hear that well controlled vocal in the mix, and this is how you can easily make your vocal sit in the mix when you have your compression working well. And if you want to learn more on how to mix and master professionally, visit our website sc2tutorials.com, and you can see our online certification mixing and mastering course where you take at your own pace in your own time and you get to earn your certification while you build your skill. So we're going to use an EQ to remove unnecessary frequencies because if you don't do this, your vocals won't fit properly in the beat. Your vocals will sound either too heavy or too harsh in the mix. So using an EQ that is an equalizer helps solve that problem. So for removing frequencies or for fixing frequencies, there are three main areas you need to worry about. The lows, the mids, and the highs. The lows, again, when the vocals has too much body that you don't necessarily need in the mix or some low end vibration some low end mod that you don't need that just takes up space in the mix then the mid is typically a more problematic area this is where the vocal tends to sound a bit a bit too forward you know it sounds like it's kind of honky or boxy this is the part you typically want to fix then harshness you know that just you know explains itself when the vocals is sounding too harsh it like it's kind of like irritating or ringing in your ear so you want to fix that only if you hear it, okay? So let's come to the low end. I'm going to come to type, high pass, steep eight. Now, when you're trying to EQ your vocal, typically I recommend between 80 hertz to 160 hertz, okay? So I need to take this up to about 120 or 130. Then I'll hear and I'll adjust, okay? So let's listen. Your body fire go. Oh, baby, why not draw? I take your master draw. Your body not turn my lawyer go. And next we're going to do is come to the mids. We're going to pinch this a little bit and take it up. Your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw. Once we hear parts that have those resonating frequencies, you know, that, that comes up more often. And then we're going to dip this just by minus one to minus three dB. Then we'll do the same thing here again. Your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw, your body not your man a lawyer go. My local, your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw, your body not your man a lawyer go. Say you fire go. Oh rent a why not draw? You body. You don't overlap into the next guy. Your body fire go. Oh baby, why not draw? I take your master draw, your body not your man a lawyer go. Now the vocal doesn't sound harsh in my ear, so I don't really need to cut this. Or oh, it doesn't sound dull, so I don't need to boost this. It just sounds okay in my opinion. So I'm going to leave this right here, okay? So next what we're going to do is apply a serial compressor just to make it sound a bit more tight. And, you know, again, more modern because a lot of modern recordings sound a little bit over compressed. Pro C2 again, but this time it will be in a different mode. You know, one thing I like with this compressor is the fact that you can use 
the different modes clean classic opto so i'm going to use opto this time and then i'm going to give it a different setting typically you want it to be a different setting the first one could be a bit more while the second compressor could be you know a bit less or the first one could be a bit less and the second one be a bit more typically you want to mix it up so that you get a more interesting outcome okay so i'm going to come right here again turn off auto gain ratio up a bit more the next we're going to do is take out resonance in the vocal again we're going to be using suit 2 this suit 2 to take out resonance in the vocal and this is how it sounds you know what i really like about suit 2 is that once you just load it up it just works you don't really need to do much most of the time on your vocals it just works but my favorite preset i like to use is the dehonk especially if you have like vocals that is so that has a lot of you know resonance in the mid-range the dehonk just works best most of the time in my opinion and your boy you may just need to adjust the depth when i turn it off this high sounds especially in the last part of the lyrics you could hear the resonance coming up now it sounds more smooth and more normalized right so next what we're going to do is use a final eq to just shaping it up auto-tune vocal eq and all i have to do is just cut in the lows i don't have to do anything crazy just take it to about 120 hertz now for us to get a modern feel on our vocals there's that modern crispy vocals we hear I recommend use this plugin i've tried so many other plugins and i always come back to this fresh air plugin it's free but it just sounds so good now what you want to adjust is either the fret the high air or the mid air it's a very simple plugin but you don't want to overdo it so that you don't have vocals that are too sharp okay so i'm just going to adjust the high air bits and the mid air as well now the mid air takes care of the mid range of your vocals making it sound a bit heavier and then the high air takes care of the high frequency making it sound a bit more you know sharper making it sound more crisp this is the before and this is after now the next sound to this come back to this beat and use an eq so shape some frequencies in the beats okay especially in the low okay i feel like he has too much bass too much power in the low end and also want to cut out a little bit in the mids right that's sounding good next thing we can do now is send our vocals in for reverb and delay okay so we can send it in right here for reverb i can just rename this reverb i'm going to use the fab filter pro r but i'm going to use the reverb calculator okay all i have to do is type in my um, number my tempo 114 and most times i use either hall or large room so let's use large room and i'll be using 32 on the pre-delay 2000 basically 2000 or two seconds on the decay time so let's come right here two and then for the pretty lay i don't think i want to use the pretty lay because i want it to sound a bit imperfect okay so you can use the pretty lay if you want to sound really spot on okay but you know mixing can also be creative so i want that and then the mix is already on 100 percent if it's not just like 200 percent so that's what you are here is only the wet signal so you can adjust how much wetness or dryness you get on your mixer send okay so i'm just going to come back here and then adjust my send and 
your body fire gone. Oh, baby, why not draw? I tell your master, draw your body not jam and a lawyer gone. Today, this is an EQ to shape the reverb. I feel like the reverb is way too present. So I'm going to cut out. Your body fire gone. Oh, baby, why not draw? I tell your master, draw your body not jam and a lawyer gone. Fire, Create a send right here, and then I'm going to come to Fruity Delay 2. All right, so we have this right here. Now, how to use delay to make your vocal sound more interesting is real simple. You want to come to this ping pong mode, so I send this you know left and right, make it sound more like interesting or give it that stereo feel. You can keep it on normal, it just stays straight and you know head on. Either one is fine, but I want it to move left and right, so I'm going to put it on ping ping pong mode then now to then you want the dry to be all the way down here so that it's 100 percent wet okay then you also want to adjust the time which is very important the time is just simply how the bounce of the delay goes so i'm going to come right here and typically between two step if you look at the top left of my screen typically you want either a two step or a four step delay so let's have it on four step and let us hear a sound before we do any more tweaks sky long, sky long, sky long, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear all of that. So for us to reduce the actual effect going on, you can reduce one the feedback so it reduces the number of bounds. And then you can also adjust the input volume so that it reduces the overall volume of the effect. So I'm going to come to the main vocal and adjust the send as well. And I'm going to make the delay wider by coming to the stereo enhancement section right here and make it spreading it up. Then I'm going to come right here. Now we need to control the delay. But if you're listening, it's kind of overcrowding the vocal. So I'm going to come to Fruity Limiter. And there are so many ways to do this, but I like using Fruity Limiter. Then we'll come to Comp, we'll come to Sidechain, and then we'll click the vocal. And then you want to reduce the threshold all the way down and then adjust the ratio to the amount of control you want. And then if you listen now. Just like that, now we have our vocal sounding really good. So let's hear it from the top, mixed and unmixed. Let's hear it when the effects are turned off. So I'm going to turn off the effects. Then I'll be right there. Make a check on you, my baby. No time, no. And my dog is a probation. Another five years. Bring girls to his location. No time, no. Your body fire gone. Oh, baby, why not draw? If you want to learn more on how to mix and master professionally, visit our website sctutorials.com and you can see our online certification mixing and mastering course where you take at your own pace in your own time and you get to earn your certification while you build your skill.